today we're going to do practice paint. We're going to do some ferns and give you some homework to work with on the ferns and different ways that you can do that with using multi-surface paint. I'm going to use some flat brushes and we're going to use a 12 and we might go down to a 10 um, or even smaller. That's what we're going to start with. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do with the fern, I'm going to go sideways and do a few different ones across. Okay. So we're going to take our dampened brush. We're going to pick up sap green and citrus green. And we go back and forth, back and forth, putting lots of pressure on the brush to fill it up, up into the ferrule. Okay. Make sure that when you dampen your brush, you take it all the excess water off on the paper towel. Thank you for subscribing. Please do if you haven't so that we can keep having more and more how-to lessons. Thank you for coming on and watching. So this is a chisel edge. So as we're doing this, we can work with a chisel edge. I'm coming up with the lighter co color leading, or I can come down if I know the spot I wanna be at with the darker color leading. Okay, so those are just the stems that we're going to paint to. All right, so I'm going to keep picking up paint here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to touch here on the point, slide and lift. All right, so we're going to touch the corner on the stem and come up, touch the corner and come up. These are right across from each other, okay? All right. I'm going to put this on here so we can see no glare about that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come picking, picking up, but we can get medium if we think we need it. But what you're going to do is you're going to go a little bit longer and a little bit longer. So you see I'm going out from the sides. Look at this. I'm going to grab a teeny bit of medium. Come over here and work it in. So see the corner touches and this corner touches. And with a lot of ferns, you can get to this point and they all be the same length. Okay. Or you can do a fern where they all go a little bit longer, which is kind of interesting. Some ferns grow pretty wild. Let's see how I gradually got bigger. Now, when you're on this side or either side, you can have some that start coming up. Like if I start here, I can cross over. Or I can do another one regular. Then I could do one that comes down. And this one up. I'm going to do that again. We're going to start here. We're going to push and stand up. I can start getting a little bit bigger down here. Okay. I want to come up here. I'm going to follow with the lighter color. There we go. All right. So that's a type of fern. Now we can also come here and we can do a fern. That looks more like this. So we have one, two, three. So I want to come here and here. Okay. All right, so at the top of this, we might do a little, another little one. But so look at this, you're going to come out here.
So all you do on this is you're pulling it back. So this has been at an angle. So here's the angle. And you come to this angle. All right. So on this one, we push down and we make a pull where we're coming straight down. You see how the streaks are? You want to see those streaks. So we have the tip, and then we have these different ones coming down. So you want to see all those streaks. All right. And then over here. You can also come in the middle and put it like a couple little ones there, here and there. And my little finger is touching everything. So... Here we go. Okay. Now well, let's look at a different kind of fern. These are good ferns. You can use different colors. I picked up a little bit of aqua. You can always add a little bit of white to the edge. All right. And we got one more fern. So what I'd like to see you do is go practice these. Okay. So I've got... Uh, Aqua, a little bit of white, and we are just going to pull these little teeny pieces of fern. All right, that's my layout. I'm going to come right here. And we've got really full pieces of fern. So I put a little bit of white and aqua. Okay, so these are really light. That was the same as this look right here, but we're up on the chisel. And we come out here, we got to have plenty of paint. There we go. And this looks like really light, airy fern because it was like the best way I could figure to get that look. So you wouldn't want this big, big stem like I have here. So try to keep them small. I can take and come on top of that stem and kind of hide it some. So we're going to come right in here. All right, just a little bit more. You say you're just getting a really light, airy look. So this is going out. This is coming in. This one's coming in. There you go. And what this is, is flattening the brush and pulling a little thin. Thin lines, okay. So then and I like to put some little bit of weight on the tips. Okay. We have all kinds of trees and fern that we do this way. Just to show you. So those are some good ones to practice. Three different kinds of ferns, graduating from smaller to larger, long. Or fern can come out and only go this wide, and then all of it go that wide. All right. And this one has branches that come off, and they almost come and stroke back. And these are kind of like you can even dab these or stroke them. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Let's see some practice work, all right?
it's important and doesn't happen overnight. So please subscribe, check out our onestroke.com website, and I'll talk to you later.